if we get zoomed in right here, see, it's not gonna work. Kind of a bummer, man. Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And today I wanna talk to you about countertop installation, right? Whether you're doing a complete kitchen renovation, you're doing a just a countertop upgrade, you're putting in some new marble or some new granite or whatever. Whatever you're putting in, tile, doesn't matter. You're gonna be drilling holes for your faucet, right? These holes are typically a standard size, inch and three eighths, all right? Remember that size, an inch and three eighths. So you know that your faucet size needs to be that size, but the accessory hole, maybe it doesn't need to be that size, but you should make it that size. And I'm about to show you the reason why. So come along, let's get to fixing. Okay, so what they did right here is they actually just drilled a one inch hole. This is actually where a water filter went, which that fits in no problem. But if you're trying to put something else like a soap dispenser in here, it's not gonna work. Right, so this is actually the top of the soap dispenser that should fit down in there. That is a real big bummer, right? That this is actually not gonna fit in there. So I ran to the store real quick and I got this plug. This little plug right here, it actually fits down in there, which we're very thankful. And I'm gonna put this on real quick, but one thing I'm gonna tell you is, always make sure the holes that you drill in your countertop are gonna be the same size you could put a faucet in. Inch and three eighths, that's what you want to put in there. You say, oh, well, um, I don't wanna make it bigger than what it needs to be, nonsense. You do wanna make it bigger because if you ever wanna change it out, you ever decide you wanna put a different accessory in there, you're not limited, right? So now we're only limited to this unless we end up cutting out this countertop. And neither I nor my friend actually wanna cut this out right now. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take a little plumber's putty, we're gonna stick this. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take a little plumber's putty, we're gonna stick this cap on here, and we're just gonna call it good. So with a stone countertop, right, you wanna use some non-staining, oil-free plumber's putty. Make sure, that is very important, when it comes to something of this nature, stone, quartz, marble, things that you want to use a non-staining plumber's putty because if you use regular plumber's putty on this, I can guarantee that you will see it. It'll soak in. It's going to turn that brown. You're going to never be able to scrub it out. You might have to sand it out to get it to do that. But regardless of that, super easy, right? Grab a little plumber's putty. I've already got it kind of worked out. Let's make it a little faster here. Slap that around there. Just keep that spread out. Doesn't need to be super thick, right? Because you're going to get it spread out a little bit more. You just want it to go in that hole. Kind of cover the hole. Make sure you don't get any leak down in there. Okay, so then we're just going to grab this handy nifty faucet wrench right here that I have, right? Made by Rigid. Pop that out. And this is actually going to fit right in place. We'll be able to just screw this up in there and tighten this down. If you guys like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. You know, we're just trying to help and we're hoping that we're doing that. I'll put a link in the description box below for this and maybe for a plug if you need one. But the moral of this story is actually, then you just pop this bad boy in here, give it a nice push down, just push it down as far as you can and then just go below, tighten it up real quick make sure that the hole that you cut in the countertop is actually the same size as the faucet, which is an inch and three eighths. Oreo, you're like, you're not getting underneath there without me. Oh. <laughs> you are right where I need to be. <laughs> I love it. And he's like, lay down. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is exactly, this is exactly where I need to be. Oh, yes. Hey. You can really just take this, stick it on there, and it's going to stay in place once I can get it in place. And then we're able to just go right up here. Be gentle. And you should just be able to screw the whole thing on. 
right? You don't want to push it out of place or stick a can or something on top of it. Make sure it doesn't move. But you should just be able to thread it on the whole way. And we're rocking and rolling here. Okay, that's tightened up pretty good. Plug is in place. Now we'll go back up top. So now that we've gotten this tightened up, you just come back up here and just scrape off around this. You're actually just able to go right around it. Just kind of use this putty to help it take itself off of there. And that's good to go, man. It's all hooked up. Looks about as good as it's going to look. You know, it would have looked a lot nicer with the matching soap dispenser in there. But we're going to go with what we got at this point. This worked. That's what we're doing. Okay, folks, so this is the reason why I say every hole that you're going to put in your countertop needs to be that faucet size, right? You never know what you're going to like a few years down the road. Maybe you want to get rid of that Insta Hot that, you know, only took a three quarter inch size or a half inch hole and you want to upgrade to a soap dispenser that's going to take an inch and three eighths hole. Well, that's a bummer because now you got to redrill that countertop hole and you don't want to do that. If you just go with the standard size and you just hold your contractor to that standard size, then you're not going to have an issue. I honestly don't know why a contractor would ever put any other small hole in the countertop at all. Like it blows my mind. Honestly, like, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? I'm interested to know what everybody else thinks about that, right? I'm sure everybody out there has got this done at some point. If you've ever done a kitchen remodel, you've experienced this. And this ain't the first time that I've ran into it. And I just think that it had to be some weird reason why you wouldn't put the same size hole in there. That's To me, that's it. Doesn't matter what's gonna go in there, you wanna make sure that it's kinda universal, right? And that inch and three eighths, universal. That's what you're looking for. You wanna be able to give yourself options, leave options open. You never know what you're gonna want there, right? Like, I know people that want a lotion dispenser and a soap dispenser and an Insta Hot. I mean, I've seen it rain all over countertops, right? People want all kinds of stuff. And you should be able to have whatever you want. If you install the inch and three eighths hole, you're gonna be good to rock and roll. All right, I really hope this video helps. Please click that subscribe button. We would love to have you keep coming back and we're just trying to help people out. I really hope that we're doing that. Also, check us out over on Facebook. I'm trying to do a throwback series right now where I've released a lot of my older videos over there. You can go check it out, subscribe, see what I've got going on over there as well. You know, we're just, trying to do things to help people anywhere we can. Thank you very much and hope to see you again real soon.